this video, I'm going to be showing you the best defense that you could possibly be using right now for college football ultimate team. And honestly, it's probably one of the better defenses in regs as well. Now, this defense is the nickel 3-3 double mug. This is found in the 3-3-5 tight playbook or Georgia's playbook. And if you want to get my entire ebook on this, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. Now, the simplicity of this defense is that there's not a ton that you have to do in terms of your setup, but there is a ton that you, pos that you can do within your coverage. So a couple different ways to run this defense, but here's the basic principle I want you to hear. You want to be coming out in a play where you have your middle linebackers blitzing. So if you want to run a man coverage shell, you can run mid blitz zero. If you want to run a zone coverage shell, I would recommend either nickel dog three buzz or strong safety dog three. Now, what I like to do with this defense, if we wanted to run more of a cover three base shell, very simple. I really just honestly like to sit in a cover zero shell or a cover three shell in this defense. But for the cover three shell, we're gonna come out in this play, um, nickel dog, three buzz, or strong safety buzz. It's just basically what you wanna do with that safety. I personally prefer nickel dog, um, nickel, or, uh, nickel dog three buzz. So you see this is what the play is gonna look like once we get out onto our screen. And it's very simple to set up the blitz. All you're gonna do with this defense is you are going to slant your line inside. That is the entire setup. And then what I like to do, because we have this really cool three rec, and I can do a lot of stuff with my safeties and different rotations and stuff, what I like to do is take my slot corner, I'm going to put both my defensive ends in hard flats, and I'm actually going to user this slot corner. And essentially what we're able to do here is let's say we want to put more coverage to the right side of the screen. All we have to do is just craft that roll coverage like so, and I can put my user in a vertical hook. So you see, this is how we could basically set this up. And again, you're gonna see that this is one of the best blitzes in the game. You're gonna get really good four-man pressure. Again, this does work better with Texas and Quick Jump, but it honestly can work without Texas and Quick Jump. And you don't have to stand directly over the center. If you wanna stand over here, be my guest, okay? Be my guest to just stand over here like this and you see how good this defense is. Now, the most basic setup that I like to do in this game is I love to simply come out in my play, slant my defensive line inside, put both of these defensive ends in hard flats, and then basically with my slot corner, I will put him in a quarterback spy or just some zone that I would maybe want to switch stick off of. I think this is the easiest way to run the defense, and this will defend the majority of thing that, things that you'll see. And you can show blitz to get the safeties in the box. If you do that, I recommend backing off the outside corners. And I mean, you see, this is just an unbelievably effective pressure. Now, if we wanna get even simpler with this defense, what you can do is you can user one of the defensive ends on the coverage. So we're just gonna slant inside, right? We're going to put our slot corner in a zone put our defensive end on that right side in a zone, maybe something like this. Maybe we go with a, you know, coverage like so, and we're just gonna user the defensive end. You'll see here that this defense still is going to be effective as a disengaged defense, and then you are gonna basically be usering with that defensive end into coverage. One last thing that I did wanna say is let's say you're playing a lot of trips formations, and you really wanna get very simple with your coverage adjustments. All you have to do is slant inside, you're gonna user this three rec, you're gonna shade, um, or I'm sorry, you're gonna put both of these defensive ends in zones, and then you can put the slot corner in whatever you want. So here we put the slot corner hard flat, put the defensive end of the vert hook, and put the defensive end on the left in a hard flat. This is the most basic level adjustment that will bag the majority of people. You could literally spam these adjustments all game long, and most people are not gonna be able to consistently move the ball against you. Why? Because this is the easiest defense because it gets the best pressure, sending the least amount of people in the most amount of game modes, and you're simultaneously then able to make the most amount of coverage opportunities behind it. Because ultimately, you could also do something 
for example, like a bluff blitz on this defensive end or a vert hook. And then you could take this slot corner and you could bluff blitz him and notice that that's going to put that slot corner in a three rack, which is one of the best zones in the game every single year, right? And then you can take your safety. You see what I'm saying? You can get as adjusty with this as you possibly want to. But the bottom line is the reason you can do that is because this blitz is so good and because you have a very simple method in which you're setting it up, all you're doing. And it really just depends on who you use her. Like if you want to, if you want to use her that left side safety a little bit more, you might want to consider coming out in the strong safety dog defense as opposed to the one that I was just in. And what you'll see is it's going to roll this defense like so. And then all you have to do, what I would personally do, is bring this guy down just to help a little bit, you then don't have to press or anything. And then you're just going to slant your line inside, hard flat both of these guys, and put your user in a curl, hook curl. So you have kind of a double flat over there to the right side. Or you could put, you know, if you want to get a justy, you could do something like this, right? But these are the basics of good defense. It's having a good blitz, a great coverage behind it that is going to stop the majority of the things. And while this coverage is very simple, it is actually very effective. Again, all we're doing is we're just putting these defensive ends in hard flats. You don't have to do that either. If you want to send the goons, go ahead and send them. Like you could literally just call this right here. We're just going to send everybody, and we're going to try to get pressure against a blocked running back. I don't recommend that because I think the best way to run the defense is to get the best coverage possible out of the defense. For example, one of my favorite things to do, another thing you can also do, super underrated, put this safety that came down in the box, put him in a middle third. Put him in a middle third and then just hard flat both of these guys like so. And now you're using this side. Now, this is going to be a little bit more vulnerable in the seam, so you're going to be getting a little bit more here. But this cross field third is also really effective. So there's so much you could do out of this. I wanted to just make a very simple tutorial on how to play basic defense that is actually really pretty decent. And it's not that complicated in terms of the setup. So you can pretty much run this against almost anything. And this is going to be very effective for you.